Hi, good morning. Oh, it's Shinyun. I'll take 20 off the stock. We sell whatever's popular in the market. You're here. Come take a look. Thanks. Come on in. All right. Hey, Shinyun, look at this one. Compare it with that. They're quite close in style, but the wholesale price is cheap. And you can mark it up. That lady there, she bought the same one. Look at it. Hey, boss, I'll take 10 of these. Oh, okay. The quality's not good. Is this a knockoff? Well, so what if it is? Most customers won't see the difference. Take it, mix it in with the real ones. I swear, you'll make some money. Boss, I'll take 20 of these. Oh, all right. Okay, now, here you are. Okay. Hey, thank you, but I want the real one. Sure. It's good material, the craftsmanship. It's exquisite, and it's very comfortable. It's great. How much is it? 218 yuan. Well, you know, if you can drop the price to 150, then we'll take it, all right? We sell all genuine products. The price can't change. Forget it, then. Uh, one moment. I'd very much like to make this sale, but I just can't sell it for what you've asked. How's this? I round it down to 210? Just listen, we've made our offer. For 150, we'll buy it now. If not, we'll go look elsewhere. But listen, you get what you pay for. Just compare it. The workmanship and material are superb. No, just forget yeah. about it. Hey, let's go across the street. If she won't drop the price, forget it. Hey. You're back. So, how was business? Oh, that's all we made? I'll get the bike. Again? Is it broken? Get it fixed tomorrow. What's going on? Oh, Hi. hey, Lynn. Hi. Scooter busted? <sighs> Same old problem. Lynn, your car, is it new? <laughs> Just got it. Like it? Hey, you know what? Come on in. I'll give you a ride home. Uh, no, no thanks. thanks. Why so polite? Come on in, you two. Uh, no, no thanks. Really? No, really. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Then I'm leaving. Okay. okay. Lynn's business just keeps growing. First he bought a house, and now he has a new car. What about us? If we don't think of something, we're gonna have to close. Hey, take it easy. Sorry ma'am, I'm in a rush. Hey, Ms. Liu, here's your clothes. Thanks. Careful. Hey, Shin Yu, mm -hmm. how's your business lately? <gasps> business is the same. Shin Yu. Yeah. I know you and your husband are honest, but being honest isn't such a good thing in business. I said this long ago. Being as straightforward as you are, you'll never make much money. You must be flexible. Ms. Liu, I do get what you mean, but selling poorly made items, I just don't think my conscience will let me. Conscience? <sighs> How much is conscience worth? In these times, doing business with a conscience, that will bankrupt you. What is it that we work so hard for every single day? Isn't it to make some money? We want to make more money too. But if we have to... Have to what? We're not stealing from anyone. We're just thinking of some ways to earn more. Now what could be wrong with that? Buying and selling's like... Like Zhu Yu beating Huang Gai. One wants to hit, the other to be hit. In these times, true success is making money. Who cares how you get it? In the world that we live in, this is what everyone does. You won't survive if you don't keep with the times. 
Zha Zha is starting primary school. Just wait, you'll need a lot more money in the future. Even if you're not worried about yourself, you have to think about Zha Zha. Thank you. Come again. Hey, excuse me. Oh, Shen Yu. I'll take 20. Ah, sure. As I said before, this should sell well. I'll take this one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. Guarantee that you'll sleep well. <laughs> Well, I'm off. And thanks. You're welcome. Stop in any time. Mm, will do. The skirt is quite slimming, and every one of these stones has been inlaid by hand. Do you have anything else? Oh, take a look here. I think this would be a very good look on you. This one is no better. This is the best design in the whole store. Don't you know anything about clothes? You have awful taste. You have no idea how to sell these, do you? Just take a look at this one. This is the most popular design of the year. Hi, pardon. You might like this one. It's well made and the material is high quality. And it's a limited edition. It's quite unique, yet affordable. Oh, I don't care about price. Come. I just want unique clothes. You can rest assured no one else has this. Here, hold it up. Your complexion is light, so this shade brings out a noble quality. Believe me, go try it on. Okay. Here, this way. Just like I thought, it's perfect. Doesn't this top look like it was designed just for you? Only someone with your figure and demeanor could bring it out. This piece is not for everyone. All right then, pack it up for me. Hope to see you soon. Mrs. Wang, you're amazing. Here, please put these back. We have to learn how Mrs. Wang does it. You know, the state of the down comforter business. Your condition's tough. Hai Feng, you don't want this? I'll give it to someone else. Uh, no, not so. You've taken care of me. Of course I'll do it. However, I need to make a profit as well. Uh. So then, how's this? What's this? If the price is this low, we won't make any money. He wants such a high commission. What he told me is so long as the outer material is pretty, we don't have to use that much down. But the quality will be awful. Were we to do this, I don't think I could live with myself. <sighs> Listen, this whole deal, it's not a good idea. That's easy to say, 
But business is getting harder and harder. We can't afford to offend such an important client. Besides, this is how everyone does business. We don't really have a choice. Hello, welcome. I want to see the boss. Uh, sir, what's the problem? One moment, please. There. Hello, how may I help you? You sold this to my sister. You sell fakes. You're asking to be shut down. What's going on? So what are you going to do? Let's go see what's going on. They sell fakes. There must be some mistake. We just sell genuine products. Genuine? My college friend works in fashion. She knew at once it's a knockoff of last year's design. Huh. You sold it for 800? That is such a ripoff. Now, ma'am, there are many fashion labels. Your friend just made a mistake. This now is- Now you're lying to me? What is this? You won't admit it? Thank you, thank you. Shame on you, ugh. Oh, hey, my friend, c calm down. I'm not your friend, who are you? I'm the boss here. You're the boss? If there's a problem, let's talk, but don't go- Do I get a refund or not? I'll destroy this place. Oh. Give me a refund now. Their prices are so low. If you no longer want the clothes, I'll give you a refund. But you both should know, this impacts my business. Huh, now you realize it impacts your business? Just what were you thinking? This happens when you sell knockoffs. <sighs> she doesn't look like she sells knockoffs. You can't tell just by looking at them, you know? Don't buy any of this stuff, they're all knockoffs. It's just, for years, we've been lying to our customers. We have made some money, but I feel uneasy a lot of the time, as if I'm going against my conscience. In business, we still need to be honest. If we make money with tricks, we'll not last very long. Over the long term, they'll know. They'll all see right through us. How can we stay in business? I've been thinking about these things too. We do business like everyone else, and my heart truly feels uneasy. But if we really do business honestly, we can't make much money at all. And with the bribes we must pay officials, we won't make anything at all. It's hard. Captain Song. Are there lots like that? If not, I can't collect much in fines, and that is not interesting. Huh. <laughs> Come now. There's much more. I know there's a problem with those down comforters Chen Haifang sold to, Rong King Company, and that would guarantee huge fines. Oh yeah? Then tell me some more. What's this all about? I don't know. Let's go see. Uh, Captain. Captain. What's going on? We received a tip that your store sells shoddy down comforters. Our finding is that it's true. These are the results. See for yourselves. We also received tips that some of the other goods in your store are knockoffs, too. We must check it all. 
That's why there are so many. Everyone clear the shop. Official government business out. Out. Pack it all. All these knockoffs. Stop watching. Yes, you. Get everything boxed up. Yes, sir. Stop watching. Pack it all. Captain Song, there must be a misunderstanding. Yes, Captain. If there's a tip, I must check it out. Might there be someone you've offended? Get those hanging over there. Hurry up. Okay. Hey, you. Get those boxed up. Yes, sir. You too. Uh, Go upstairs. Okay. Uh, Captain. Help me out. Please. I promise I'll make it up to you. Indeed. Just this once. Help me. Just let this go. This is from the Bureau. I'm just carrying out orders. Here's your notice. Your business must close. Sign it now. Go take those hang in there. Grab their license, now. Yes, sir. But... Get these boxes in the car. Yes, sir! Chen Hai Feng, come with us to the Bureau. Let's go. Hai Feng. Hai Feng. Stop looking. Let's go. Out your distinctive beauty. I once pursued fortune and fame. My principles were cast away. I lied for a living. My conscience was Thank gone. God. With no thought for morals, integrity, dignity. All of these things meant nothing to me. Jaying? What? Are you back now? Oh, okay. Then I'll see you at the reunion. have a drink. Next time. Don't drink too much. Jaying? Shall we go talk outside? Tell me, how has business been lately? Well... If you really want to know how it's been, it's hard to tell it quickly. Well, at first, we tried doing business honestly. Hi, Shinyu. Hmm. We worked hard every day, but barely earned a thing. While others cheated their customers and made quite a bit. 
It made us feel like the world was full of evil. Indeed. One can't run a business without a few tricks. We didn't want to stay poor, so we did what others in business do. These past years, we've made some money, but I always feel so uneasy about it. When you add in the intense competition and industry squabbling, the arbitrary taxes and extortion from officials, it's been quite a frustrating, difficult journey. The last few years must have been so hard for you. In the past, when we were poor, I admired people with money. I thought I would be happy once I had some. Now that I have money, I still don't feel happy. Yeah. What I feel more of is emptiness and pain. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, how can I escape from this emptiness and pain? How can I live a meaningful life? Xinyu, all that you've said is true. I've had similar experiences. Oh? My husband and I opened a shipping company and a restaurant, and we went through a lot. We saw the lack of justice wherever the CCP rules. Corrupt officials are everywhere. Everything requires a bribe. Indeed. In China, putting food on the table through honest work is just impossible. To make money, you must have the right relationships. You have to play tricks and bribe officials too. <sighs> it's hard for honest people to survive here. Back then I'd think, why is this world so filled with evil? Where is there fairness and justice? Later, I found God and read a lot of God's words. I discovered that God's words clearly and practically explain so much about life. I began to grasp the truth and gradually I started to understand the world of men. Oh my, you're saying belief in God helps us to understand life. That's such wonderful news. Yes. Last year, a friend preached the gospel to me. Really? Hmm. She said that God created the heavens and earth as well as all mankind. She said that God nourishes mankind, that God rules and presides over mankind's fates, and will repay each person according to his deeds. When I heard those words, they sounded great, and I wanted to believe, but my business kept me too busy. So I thought I would later. Now I hear you've started first. Yes. Now, Ying, you said God's words explain many aspects of life in a very clear way. Hmm. I'd love to read God's words. I have some time today. Can we talk about it? Sure. We can discuss it at my house. Great. I'll bring Haifeng. Good. Let's go. Terrific. Thank you. Xinyu, Haifeng, I'm glad you're both here. You asked why people are so corrupt and what the root of our pain in life is. To start, let's look at God's word and see what we learn. Great. Great. Adam and Eve, created by God in the beginning, were holy people. Which is to say, whilst in the Garden of Eden, they were holy, untainted with filth. They were also faithful to Jehovah and knew nothing of the betrayal of Jehovah. This is because they were without the disturbance of the influence of Satan, were without Satan's poison, and were the purest of all mankind. They lived in the Garden of Eden, undefiled by any filth, unpossessed by the flesh, and in reverence of Jehovah. Later, when they were tempted by Satan, they had the poison of the serpent and the desire to betray Jehovah, and they lived under the influence of Satan. Born into such a filthy land, Man has been severely blighted by society. He has been influenced by feudal ethics, and he has been taught at institutes of higher learning. The backward thinking, corrupt morality, mean view on life, despicable philosophy, utterly worthless existence, and depraved lifestyle and customs. All of these things have severely intruded upon man's heart and severely undermined and attacked his conscience. As a result, man is ever more distant from God and ever more opposed to Him. Even when they hear the truth, 
Those who live in darkness give no thought to putting it into practice, nor are they inclined to seek out God, even if they have beheld His appearance. How could a mankind so depraved have any chance of salvation? How could a mankind so decadent live in the light? Amen. And now, how's this? We can look at two videos. They're both readings of God's words. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Satan corrupts people through the education and influence of the national governments and the famous and great. Their nonsense has become man's life and nature. Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost is a well-known satanic saying that has been instilled into everyone and has become the human life. There are some other words of life philosophy that are also like this. Satan educates people through each nation's fine traditional culture and causes humanity to fall into and be engulfed in an expansive abyss of destruction. And in the end, people are destroyed by God because they serve Satan and resist God. Satan uses these social trends to lure people one step at a time into a nest of devils, so that people caught up in social trends unknowingly advocate money and material desires, as well as advocate wickedness and violence. Once these things have entered man's heart, what then does man become? Man becomes the devil, Satan. This is because of what psychological leaning in the heart of man? What does man advocate? Man begins to like wickedness and violence. They do not like beauty or goodness, much less peace. People are not willing to live the simple life of normal humanity but instead wish to enjoy high status and great wealth, to revel in the pleasures of the flesh, sparing no effort to satisfy their own flesh with no restrictions, no bonds to hold them back. In other words, doing whatever they desire. In this way, man becomes more and more evil, arrogant, condescending, selfish, and malicious. There is no longer any affection between people, no longer any love between family members, no longer any understanding between relatives and friends. Human relations have become full of violence. Every single person wants to use violent methods to live in amongst their fellow man. They seize their own livelihood using violence they win their positions and obtain their own profits using violence. And they do anything they want using violent and evil ways. Is this humanity not terrifying? Oh, amazing. These words are so clear. That's right. That is just how our society is. Most people will deceive and use each other just over money in their own interests. It's right. true. These words clearly express the darkness in our society. Mm. But there's some I still don't understand. Uh, so I'd like you to explain yeah, it. Okay. The reason that the world is so dark and that mankind is so evil and cruel has to do with Satan's corruption. Mm -hmm. At first, Satan used lies to deceive people. People believed Satan's lies, betrayed God, and lived under Satan's domain. For many years, Satan has used the absurd, theories and lies made up by kings of devils, great men, and famous people to deceive and harm mankind. Things like evolution, atheism, and so on. Also thoughts like, there's never been a savior, your fate's in your own hands, and man can conquer nature. Each man for himself and the devil take the hindmost. Man dies for wealth like birds for seed. Money is above all and more. These sayings are so popular in society. That's right. 
Satan uses national education, media channels, and the transmission of culture in order to inundate people with these evil theories. Once people accept these satanic poisons and principles, they deny God's existence, refuse to believe that God rules over all things, deny that God provides for and nourishes man, and can't accept that step by step, God does the work of redeeming and of saving mankind and leads man forever forward. Mankind hates the truth that comes from God and so rejects God's salvation and instead follows satanic ideas and logic, which leads man to become ever more corrupt, to worship money, status, as well as fame. To attain all these things, man will fight man, scheme and squabble, and sometimes kill. Parents and children, husbands and wives, even families will deceive and betray one another, or even become enemies. So tell me, when folks live like this, even if somehow they're able to gain what they want, will they ever feel joy or happiness? No way. No way. That's right. When people won't listen to God's words, when they betray God and instead live by Satan's lies, then they come under Satan's domain, are corrupted, harmed by Satan. This is the root of mankind's emptiness and pain. You know, in the past, I would think of those popular sayings as personal mottos, but now I see there really is a problem with them. Indeed. Stated like that, these sayings are preposterous. They're sinister. It's just like in business. People in the past would proclaim, deal honestly with all. They obeyed their conscience. But people today don't value that. So long as it gets mice, who cares if the cat's black or white? Money equals power, and it matters not how you get it. So the world is such an evil place because Satan has corrupted mankind. That's right, especially in China. The CCP has always used lies and violence to govern. As in, repeat a lie enough times, it becomes truth. Chinese society is chock full of lies, violence, and fraud. It's a huge mess. Wherever you look, there is corruption, pay-to-play schemes, violence, and strife. In the midst of all these evil worldly trends guided by Satan and the CCP, people are inundated, people are infected, then blindly follow social trends, and ultimately, they're swallowed and they end up being punished in hell. Xinyu, Haifeng, the Bible prophesies great disasters in the last days that will extinguish this fully corrupted mankind. Right now, we are in the last days. And God has come to express the truth and to save mankind. God's words open the mystery of God's management plan to save man and the mysteries of life have been revealed to mankind. God will reveal how Satan corrupts mankind, as well as how God saves mankind. What's most meaningful for man to pursue, and mankind's final ending and destination as well as many other things. If we come before God and read more of God's word, we can grasp the truth and see clearly the true face of Satan. We'll be able to reject Satan's evil and absurd sayings and instead live by God's word. We can gain God's blessings and protection, attain salvation, then we can survive the great disaster. Xinyu, Haifeng, are not the words and work of God in the last days such great news for us all as people? Indeed. Yes. <sighs> Since I've heard you explain it, I understand. Our only path is belief in God, or we'll be harmed by Satan. Belief in God is better. Thanks to God. Yes. In the past, I felt certain that God does exist. Reading God's words, I am now more certain than ever. God can save mankind from torment and bring people light. I really have to believe! Thanks to God, what great news! Without faith, no matter what we may have, our hearts will be empty. Mm. I think believing in God is good Thanks too. Thanks be to God. Wonderful. Xiaying, was the book you were reading really the Word of God? Indeed. Here we have God's utterances and words for all mankind. These words are truly amazing. 
Can we borrow this book so we may read it? We don't grasp much yet. But if we read more of God's word, we'll grasp things in the world more clearly and better understand how to believe in God. Xinyu, you're correct. If we believe in God, we must read God's word. Only grasping truth can guide our belief in God and teach us how to obey God's will and how to attain God's salvation. Take the book so you may read it at home. If you read it and understand, then you can keep the book. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks be to God. Perfect. so much in my heart I want to say to you through your words my heart's door open I heard your voice your words are truth nourishing my heart like spring water thinking of your words my heart's bright at peace joy ease I have now understood the truth through practicing your words, I see your righteous, holy, true love in your words. Lately, at meetings with our brothers and sisters, I've seen how they go about being honest in their lives. If they should lie, they pray to God to seek truth. They can reveal themselves and correct their lies. They live with such ease and freedom. I admire them. Yeah. Since we've been believing, though we are a bit better and don't deceive like we used to, at times we can't resist temptation. When I think of it, I feel ever so guilty. Hey, at recent meetings, the fellowship has been about honesty. I think this is important. Should you and I read and fellowship on it? Sure. Almighty God says, you ought to know that God likes an honest man. God has the substance of faithfulness, and so his word can always be trusted. Furthermore, his actions are faultless and unquestionable. This is why God likes those who are absolutely honest with him. Honesty means to give your heart to God never to play him false in anything, to be open with him in all things, never hiding the truth, never to do that which deceives those above and deludes those below, and never to do that which merely ingratiates yourself with God. In short, to be honest is to refrain from impurity in your actions and words, and to deceive neither God nor man. Behaving like a normal human being is to speak with coherence. Yes means yes. No means no. Be true to the facts and speak appropriately. Don't cheat. Don't lie. My kingdom requires those who are honest, not hypocritical, and not deceitful. Aren't the sincere and honest people unpopular in the world? I am just the opposite. It is acceptable for the honest people to come to me. I delight in this kind of person. I also need this kind of person. This is precisely my righteousness. How one's fate will work out in the end hinges upon whether he has an honest and blood-red heart and whether he has a pure soul. If you are someone who is very dishonest, someone with a heart of malice, and someone with an unclean soul, then the record of your fate is certainly in the place where man is punished. If you claim to be very honest, and yet never manage to act in accordance with the truth, or to speak a word of truth, then are you still waiting for God to reward you? Do you still hope for God to regard you as the apple of his eye? Isn't this a preposterous way of thinking? You deceive God in all things. 
So how can the house of God accommodate one such as you, whose hands are unclean? When we fellowshiped these parts of God's word, I was filled with a strong sense of self-blame, especially when I read this. You ought to know that God likes an honest man. God has the substance of faithfulness, and so his word can always be trusted. Furthermore, his actions are faultless and unquestionable. This is why God likes those who are absolutely honest with him. I realized that God is faithful and holy too. God likes honest people and hates deceivers. God's kingdom only accepts the honest. People who often lie and deceive can't enter God's kingdom. It's been years that we've earned our money through being deceitful. We've ignored our consciences and cheated our customers. When our lies are exposed, we do nothing but argue to cover them up. We've been so shameless. Where is our character and dignity? Listen, if we do not make a change, we'll be sent to perdition and extinguished. We can't continue lying just to earn dirty money. We should be honest and conform to God's requirement. That way we can live in peace and security and gain God's blessings. What do you think? You're quite right. God requires honesty in walking the right path so we should accept and obey. Yes. To make money these last few years, we both learned to lie and deceive others. And nobody should be doing that. I also think, if we believe in God, we should pursue honesty. But, maybe we can be honest within the church, but I don't think it's possible out in the real world. Society is so dark. Without some tricks up our sleeves, we can't make any money. If I cannot be honest, I feel so uneasy, and God despises me, so I'm conflicted. I've also thought about those things. Doing business is hard these days. Let's say we act according to our conscience. Money might be quite tight at times, but God will like and approve of all that we are doing. If we strive to be honest and follow God's word, we'll shed our satanic disposition, escape Satan's harms, and gain salvation. Don't you agree? If we keep doing what we did before in order to make money, if we're dishonest, if we cheat and deceive others, then we're failures as human beings. We won't be purified. We'll never attain salvation. We won't enter God's kingdom. That's right. Honesty is required by our faith. If we're not honest, we're denied salvation. So why bother believing? Hmm. Yes. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Fellowshipping like this is very beneficial. If we both keep this up, I'm sure we'll gain God's approval. Good news, obviously. Here. The Weihua factory wants 300 wool quilts? That's right. That's great. Look at this. Mr. Wei himself is sending the order. It's a bit cheaper with him. We've never done business with Mr. Wei before. I hope he's reliable. Hai Fang, Xin Yu, you're here. Mrs. Liu, ah, have, have some, some coffee. coffee. All right. You two can talk. I have to okay, do inventory. go ahead. Hi, sir. Hello. Hey, Shinya. Yeah? There's a favor I'd like to ask you. What is it? Feel free. There's a problem with my last shipment. With all the shoes, can't sell them. It's almost the October Golden Week. Can you help me get rid of them on your website? Well, uh... What's wrong? Is there a problem? Mrs. Liu, we don't sell goods like that anymore. 
I still feel like we have to be honest in business. That's how we'll win our customers' trust and put our conscience at ease. Conscience? <laughs> Shinyu, now that you believe in God, you're sure getting some lofty ideals. Uh, Mrs. Forget it. I won't trouble you more. <laughs> Mrs. Liu, your cough still sounds bad. Shouldn't you go to the hospital? What's going on with this Mr. Wei? What is it? He's still not picking up? Let's go see him at his shop. All right, let's go. How much time have I had that all these hosts are going to be cheap? This crazy. Where is he? This guy uh, needs me big. Hey, oh, excuse me. So you have no idea. Uh, uh, sir, nothing. what's going on? Yeah. Hey, you gave a deposit and got nothing? Yeah. 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 I'm in the same boat, so what now? You too? Why won't we open? No. What can I do? Open up! Where? Where is he? Somebody must know. Anybody have somebody must know. Hey! Stop knocking. Wei's a gambler. He lost it all. He's long gone now. What? I don't like being my family. This is so twisted. What are we gonna do? What's happening? What are we gonna do? I don't know what to do. Hey, watch it. Watch it. So much money. So my twenty thousand is gone? Like that? He owes me a hundred thousand. This way is a monster. Oh, come on. You think that us. you got problems? You know, Wei ordered hundreds of wool quilts from me. And he only paid a third. Oh, well, me too. He really screwed me. No. What do I do hey, now? Uh, excuse me. Huh? I'm Chen Haifong. Do you have any wool quilts in stock? Yeah, we overheard what you were saying. Yeah. Could we see them? Mr. Gao, how many are in stock? About 150. That's not enough. See, Mr. Gao. We have a delivery tomorrow. Can you think of any way to make 150 more for us? Please. I'm sorry. I'm all out. Uh, uh, then do you have anything yeah, else? Yeah, maybe there's another way? Well, I do have another batch here that might take care of what you need. Listen, I still think we should take Mr. Gao's other batch. It'll get us out of a jam. But those are shoddy goods. We swore an oath to God to pursue honesty. This is falling for temptation. How could we attain God's approval like this? We'll just have to think of some other way. We have a delivery tomorrow. What other way do you think's out there? It's true that we want to be honest, but these are special circumstances. If we can't meet the delivery deadline, we'll have to pay breach fees. It's just... You know that we don't usually sell fake goods. Doing it once in a while, how could that hurt us? <sighs> okay then, we'll do it just this once. We can't do it again in the future. <laughs> Fine. Hello? Yes? What? Cancer? For years, I've been busy making money, living just for money. And I earned money. I never once thought There, there. I just earned so much dishonest money. And then I got this disease. <laughs> Stay calm. Shinya. Yes? Once you're on your deathbed, you understand everything. Earning all the world's money is utterly useless.
Hey, Shinyu, let's go. You know, getting sick, it made her speak the truth. Listen, Mrs. Liu's cancer, I think it's a warning to us. Yes. Here out, we have to be more honest and not violate our consciences. Yes. I really don't feel secure about the way we handled all that business with Wei Hua. I know. Maybe we can take the goods back? How can we? We already delivered them. You really want me to tell the truth? We used shoddy goods to fill the order and deceive them. We were not being trustworthy. How can we pray to God about this? But if we tell the truth, it's more than paying money. Wei Hua could actually sue us. Then we'd be in for it. For now, how about we do this? We pray and admit our sins, ask for forgiveness, and never do this again. Yeah? I found some of God's words that we should look at together. Oh, okay. Almighty God says, Do you think nothing will happen to you after you've cheated someone out of money? Do you think that after having tricked them out of money, there will be no consequences for you after you've taken their money? That would be impossible, and there will be consequences. Regardless of who they are, or whether or not they believe that there is a God, every person must take responsibility for their behavior and bear the consequences of their actions. If you engage in deception and crookedness in the future, do not pretend to not understand. That is just to knowingly do wrong, to be even more guilty. This will only lead to you being burnt by the fire, or even worse, ruining yourselves. For the sake of your fate, you ought to seek to be approved by God. That is to say, since you acknowledge that you are numbered among the house of God, you ought then to bring peace of mind to God and satisfy Him in all things. In other words, you must be principled in your actions and conform to the truth in them. If this lies beyond your ability, then you shall be detested and rejected by God and spurned by every man. Once you have fallen into such a predicament, you cannot then be counted among the house of God. This is what it is meant by not being approved by God. After reading those words, I see that God's disposition is righteous, holy, and brooks no offense. God repays man according to all his actions. We've relied on lying and deception to make money. It's treacherous and dishonest, and God loathes these things. Those who often lie are really devils. So, when they die, they are punished in hell. Hear this. We both need to repent. If we compromise ourselves, how can we escape our corrupt dispositions and become honest people? I see you're right. We knew the truth, yet we betrayed it anyway. That insults God's name. It's an even greater sin. We need to practice the truth and strive for honesty. Hmm. Thanks to God. Let's go to the factory and tell Mr. Liu. Yeah. 
the moment when money is involved, why do I involuntarily deceive others? Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost. This one phrase expresses the root of the problem. The logic of Satan has become people's lives. And no matter what they do, whether it's for some purpose or other, they're only doing it for themselves. I couldn't practice truth when I was in trouble, because I was bound and constrained by Satan's nature. After you recognize this, your task is to lay aside your old view of life. Stay far from various traps. Let God take charge of your life and make arrangements for you. Try only to submit to God's orchestrations and guidance, to have no choice, and to become a person who worships God. Amen. Amen. We're very sorry. So this time, we want to give genuine goods. We also want to give you this breach compensation. We accept responsibility for this. Right. I benefit from reading His words, reading God's words every day. I understand so many truths having roots of human conduct. I've been through trials. I've seen His face within His words. I've gained new life so I can be an honest person. I heard you